Uber has a big problem in California and it has to be something that they're anticipating. So how are they gonna combat it? So for a couple of months now, Uber has been giving drivers in California information on the accept screen. When drivers receive a request, they're given estimated earnings for the trip, they're given duration, and also can see where the passenger is going. A fantastic development for drivers, but what about passengers? Uh, drivers are now cherry picking rides for obvious reasons. You want those longer, more profitable rides and you want to decline those shorter ones. Again, Uber had to anticipate that this was going to happen. Um, so now they're implementing a feature to try and remedy it. They are now offering drivers trip premiums and trip premiums will be included with certain rides and the amount will range anywhere from one to $10. So here's what drivers may see. On the bottom there in green, you can see that there is a $3 trip premium included with this ride request. And these premiums will be implemented for trips that Uber thinks will result in lower acceptance rates. And as far as from the passenger's point of view, those price adjustments will be calculated when a rider requests a ride. The trip premiums will apply to UberX, WAV, Assist, Espanol, UberX Diamond, and Select rides. And these trip premiums will be a trial for two weeks, and they have been implemented in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San San Diego as of February 18th. And we actually reached out to Uber to get an explanation on the new trip premiums. And they said we're running an experiment in several cities in California aimed at improving reliability for trips that have low acceptance rates due largely to changes that were implemented in response to AB5. We expect the experiment to increase acceptance rates on trips that would otherwise be rejected. All right, so that language there clearly puts blame on AB5. Uber is saying because of AB5, they've had to implement these changes and now they're experiencing these issues with short trips. But AB5 is not the problem. The problem originates with Uber and Lyft by not granting us all this information. We're not true independent contractors when we're not given all this information up front. AB5 has exposed that and now both Uber and Lyft need to adapt to that changing environment. And senior rideshare contributor Sergio has been driving in California with this accept screen information for a while now and he's loving it. He's been able to choose quality over quantity. He can accept those longer, more profitable rides and decline the shorter, less profitable ones. And since Uber has replaced Quest bonuses and consecutive ride bonuses with lower service fees and boost zones in California, California, now more than ever, drivers have much less incentive to accept the shorter, less profitable rides. So how do they make up for that? They need to incentivize drivers, and so they're implementing these trip premiums. Again, it's a two-week trial. We'll see how it goes. Um, for those of you in California that have been driving with these premiums, what do you think of them? Are they worth it for those shorter rides? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.